Milo Yiannopoulos cashed in on extreme corrosive views. Feminism is cancer. Should the media cut off professional provocateurs? Trevor Noah doesn't think so. Well, the other alternative is to stay in those bubbles that you talk about, so why not have a conversation? He talks about comedy, intolerance, and his dangerous childhood under apartheid. Plus, the sudden death of actor Bill Paxton. Fear of deportation from the United States is pushing more asylum seekers into Canada. That cold, dark and illegal journey was once again witnessed by CBC News in Manitoba overnight. The province has seen more than 130 would-be refugees cross the border in just the last two months. And in the border town of Emerson, there is sympathy, but caution too. The CBC's Jill Kubra has our story. 4.30 in the morning and dangerously cold, minus 20. We spotted six men and one woman emerge from a field in the United States, moving as fast as they could along these train tracks that run parallel to the Canada-U.S. border. And where did you go from Somalia? This man from Somalia tells us he's okay, but has been walking for 22 hours. He doesn't realize he's already crossed into Canada. When we tell him, the relief is written on his face. I feel for the safe. I'm proud to be here. You're proud to be here. Yeah. He says he started the trip alone and met these fellow asylum seekers along the way. So you guys understand you're all under arrest for entering Canada illegally? The RCMP take the group to Canada Border Services agents where they will file refugee claims. This is what the Canada-U.S. border looks like in the daytime. And this is the exact spot that those asylum seekers crossed through Sunday morning. Just to give you a sense, on this side of the tracks, you're in Minnesota. Where we're standing here, you're in Manitoba. And what's interesting is that these asylum seekers appear to be using these tracks to guide them to Emerson. Michael Fraze lives just down the street. I'm not worried about anything. Like, like I said, I'm three doors from the border and we haven't had anybody come knock on our door. Generally, the town of 700 seems sympathetic. This former mayor and retired border superintendent says he is concerned about the strain on town resources and first responders. I think as Canadians, we have to look at the aspect of how many people we allow in. It's one thing to say, well, welcome to Canada for everybody, but there has to be rules and regulations followed, and, and right now they're being bypassed. On an unofficial visit yesterday, Liberal MP Marianne Mihaichuk came to hear these concerns and offer reassurance. We're here to respect you and ensure that safety is number one and that the rule of law is followed. Back at the border, a trailer has been brought in to make more space to process refugee claims as the number of asylum seekers is certain to grow. Jill Kubra, CBC News, Emerson, Manitoba.